Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. How y'all doing today or this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whatever time of day it is for you. How are you? And I hope that all is well, guys. Well, today I'm going to do a my spin on a project that Miss Tony did from Your House of Home TV. That's her channel. So I'm going to put my spin on a door wreath with a stained glass and, you know, around. Look, I'm going to show you. You know, if you want to see how it's done her way, you can check the link below in the description box. So if you guys want to see how I put my spin on her project, which turned out beautiful, like everything she does, then come back and see what I do. All right, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back with the items that I'll be using for this wreath. Wait a minute, let's see Check the lighting real quick. Seems a little bit too, too bright. There we go. That's a little better. Seemed like I was, I feel like I was on blast. Anyhow, what I have here is the main setup or the foundation for this door wreath with the stained glass look it'll go this way i showed you guys this setup in a haul that i did i think the last haul that i did and um and i had mentioned this project before so i found the oval shaped serving tray whereas when i did the video i had the round silver serving tray but this is the setup that Tony had. Mm hmm So, but this, uh, she did hers, was had uh, more of a uh, white was her thing there. Some white with a little bit of green in it. So what I have is the gold. It's kind of like a rosy, champagne-y gold. Um, I don't know. What you guys think? It's pretty, though. It's extra shiny and I have these gold poinsettias to go with that I also have these disco balls <laughs> ornaments Christmas ornaments but I call them disco balls anyhow I'll be using those I have these frosted um branches let me see what do they call them willow okay frosted willow and i think this will look nice give it that seasonal pop that wintry seasonal pop and to make the lines now in tony's video she used um black shoestring I was thinking about just using acrylic, black acrylic paint to go into the creases to create the, you know, the, the um, I don't know what you call that, that molding that's in between the glass of a stained glass window. So, but like I said, she used shoestring for her outline and I'm going to use this. It's a uh, crafting, it's jewelry craft cord even though this has uh, you know and it has some gold specks in it so i don't know we'll see how that turns out and um huh. yeah i have gorilla hot glue sticks and a hot glue gun that i'll be using i also have a soldering iron Okay, I've already measured out where I'm going to put the holes at. Can you see those that the line right there and those two dots? This line is the middle of the whole tray. And this is a half inch on either side of this half of that line. So that's how I determine how to put the um, where to put the hole. All right, nice and. And there you have it. Switch 
stuff went inside. Okay. And this tray is going to be glued over top like this. Alright guys, as you see, I already put the the tray in place, but I haven't glued it down. And what happened was I thought about it. I said, well, what if this is too close for me to get the trays in? Because the sides skew out a little bit. So I was able to, thank goodness this is flexible. And thank goodness um, that this Gorilla Glue hot glue is nice and strong holding on this material. So that's something... To let you guys know, I don't know how that Dollar Tree or or um, that value pack of hot glue sticks would do from Walmart and Dollar Tree, but Gorilla Glue Sticks, y'all, it's doing it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack this down, not tack it down, but you know, glue this to the surface. Now press on it until it's good and solid. And this is what we have so far. Okay, you know what guys? I went and found these crystals. And I'm going to put one on all four sides. Then in the middle, I have these hearts. I wish I had some diamond shapes, but all I have is the hearts so I'm going to put the hearts in the middle together over top of each other like that Right here, I'll put glue on the side. Like that. And I'll take this shoe, this, not shoe string, but this black string. And I'll bring it around. Like this. Make this go around. what it's doing so far guys start from here 
ಇಷ್ಟು Alright guys, this is what I've come up with so far. And I'm going to now put the flowers on. So, let's start putting this thing together. I want to build around the branches. I'm going to put them on first. And I think I'm going to do it starting right here. Okay, I guess that's enough, huh? Maybe one more to stick out down the bottom, like that one sticking out up at the top. Yep, just like that. Alright everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is how it turned out. Bring it a little closer. Actually, there we go. I had it upside down. It's the string in the back. That's it. And if you want to see the original look, go check out Your House of Home. Oh, there you go. Check out Your House of Home TV. Her name is Tony. And this is where I got my idea from. And I put my spin on her idea. Alright guys, so if you like the content that I put out in my video today, give me a thumbs up for a like. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, and by the way, hello to my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And I hope that you hit that notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will know. And here we are. Don't forget to share, guys. And if you have any suggestions or if you do decide to um, try one of these uh, crafts out after you watch this and Miss Tony. Let me know in the comments below. Send me a picture. Let me see how it turned out. Send it to my email. 
or to my Instagram, which is in the descriptions below. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I wanted to come back and show you all a slideshow of the door wreath because I have a before picture. This is what it was when I first finished it, but I did some embellishments and added a few more things, and this was the final result. How about that? Lights. I figured out a way to put lights on it. You know if lights can go on it, I'm going to do it. And there it is, guys. I hope you like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right? Bye-bye.